The day of the chase. I was here in Georgia celebrating my birthday. Um, I knew some people here uh, that had drugs for a cheap, and um, I knew I could turn a profit off of it, bringing the drugs from Georgia to Florida. I was in the car with a friend. It was a nice day. It was sunny out, perfect. Everything was right. Next thing you know, I play as a police car, and they trailed us for about a good mile. I'm relaxed, everything's okay. Next thing you know, they were turning lights on. As soon as the, the, the lights came on, uh, I had this, like, butterflies in your stomach. It's like panic. It's like you're scared, you got cold chills, and you're sweating. I'm thinking about my daughter. I'm thinking about how much time I'm facing because I'm in a new state. I don't know the laws here. With that mindset, that kind of helped me push that accelerator to the flow. Probably doing about 114 now. My friend was gripping the side of the car in the armrest with dear life, telling me to stop. He got kids, you know? I got a daughter. I'm looking at him. I'm scared to death. I'm yelling back, man, I got a daughter, too. Immediately, I'm looking. I'm just searching for any quick exit. This semi-truck is in the way, and I see the exit from this distance. So I can't slow down, so I whip in front of him. My plan was to find a clearing anywhere that's kind of a little bit populated, anywhere I could stop, get out, give him a foot chase, get some distance, and get what I had on me off me, and then let him catch me, and we're going to play high and go seek. So I go right, and I'm thinking, I know there's got to be a gas station, truck stop, anything in the vicinity. The further I got down this road, the more bushes, trees, vines. Smokey the Bear is probably in there, you know? Here comes this police behind me. Yeah, he's going to try to overtake me right here. Now I'm blocking him out right there, keeping him from coming around me. The wheels are screaming. You know, every curb I hit, I got to, like, slow down. I'm about to fall off the road. All of a sudden, I just feel the back of the car just boom. Then, as you know, I'm spinning. That's a scary feeling, because you can never imagine what's going to happen. All you're thinking is the car is going to flip over. I still had a little fight in me. You know, I'm not going to give up. You know, and uh, I jumped out and ran. My heart was pumping a whole lot. Um, this is my friend here with his hands out. Plan A got sabotage. That's the car. Plan B is running on feet. If they was yelling freeze, I can't hear it because I'm so focused. You don't see nothing. All you're doing is trying to get away. <laughs> there was a vine with stickers and thorns. It entangled my shoelace. I fell, and I couldn't. You ain't got but a couple of seconds ahead of them, and I couldn't get up in time enough to re-up and take off running again. Before I knew it, had me handcuffed. It was unbelievable, because everything happened so fast. The moment I was caught, the first thing I was uh, thought of was, I'm ready to die. It's the first thing, it's like, my life is over. It's, it's over, I did everything I could do. You know, and why me? Why me? Why, why, why me? 15 years of my life right there, sitting on the hood. It's not worth it.